folks, welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and American Overwatch Canine Services. So check this out, we have Paris. He's about a year, year and a half old uh, Australian Shepherd, also known as an Aussie. His eyes are beautiful, let's see if we can get you a shot of that. One eye is blue and the other one is brown. Very typical for this breed. He's a beautiful look. He's a nice looking dog. He's here for a five week puppy board and train program and he's been here just a few hours actually, so we're just getting to know him. But right off rip, I can tell you with this particular dog, some of his issues. And you may have the same issues at home, and if you do, follow along, because we're gonna be fixing all these issues that I'm about to mention. Number one, despite his breed, or his size, or the fact that he was snipped at one years old, he's still actually very dominant and kind of a cocky dog. How do I know that? Well, right off rip, if you ever see a male dog pee on a tree, or like him, in an open field and they lift their leg up, that's one of the signs, right? The higher a dog lifts their leg up, the more cocky they tend to be. Followed by, after he peed, guess what he did? Check my feet out. After he peed, he went. If you've ever seen your dog do that, male or female, it's not, oh, that's so cute, they're cleaning up after themselves. No, not at all. What happens is there's scent pads in the bottom of their feet and it's as if they took a spray paint can and went, Shh, Paris was here. All right, he's tagging my, uh, my grass, letting everybody know that Big Paris was here. And that was right off rip. He came into my yard, obviously there's a ton of dog odor there, and he smelled it, and he was very excited, very um, animated. Definitely not like what we get with some other dogs where they're kind of freaking out, anxious, looking for a place to hide, trying to hide behind people. He was out at the end of the line, like muscled up, like, who's out here? And then decided to pee and let everybody know Paris was here. So that's one of the clues that we can tell what kind of dog we're dealing with. And I, and I caught that right off rip. And then I asked the owners, I said, how is he with other dogs? It's like, oh, we take him to the dog park all the time. So yeah, how's he do? They're like, he's always picking on other dogs. He's always humping them and dominating them. Even though he's snipped, guess what? He's still humping. And why is he humping? It's a show of domination, all right? So very dominant dog. And I actually prefer dogs that are a little cocky, a little dominant, a little more confident because it's easier to trim away that than it is to take a dog that's deathly afraid of everything and build them up. So uh, let's get into another clip here and we're going to show you some more of his issues. All right, as we we're actually planning the next shot, uh, Paris kicked into his natural, his natural instincts there. There he goes. That's exactly what I was talking about. Let's see if he kicks. Okay, no kick that time. But you got to ask yourself, like, what's even the point of lifting the leg, you know? Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and walk and, and show you what his walk's all about. It's actually pretty, pretty bad, especially considering his size. Only about 45 pounds. He could probably lose like two pounds. You know, he's lost a little bit of his waist, uh, but he's a pretty healthy weight. Let me not say much about it. He's not like obese by any means, um, but you can check him out. He's way out front and he's not paying attention to me at all. Not at all. So it's what we'll call a dog on a mission. Now, if I let the line go, he'll probably just be off to the races, do whatever he wants. We'll walk back. Uh, let's see which way he wants to go. So this is a perfect case of like, am I walking him or is he walking me? And then that's what he does is he'll make the line really loose and then just pull really hard. And I mean really hard. For his size, he pulls very hard. The other thing he does is he sniffs for stuff on the ground and eats it. This is according to the owner. So we're definitely going to fix that. We want to charge up a leave it command, but I'll do one step better than that. See, there he goes eating something. Nothing in the grass is there for him. See, and I'm giving them pretty significant, look at this. This pretty significant pops on the Martingale leather collar. And that's the whole reason why I wouldn't use that going forward. We're gonna switch up to a prong collar so I can fix that. Fingertip pressure say, whatever you're eating in the grass is not for you. Um, so let's check out his obedience or lack thereof, see how he does. We'll see if we can capture how he walks on the leash a little more. So we're definitely not fixing it today. We're just going to showcase. Could we fix it right now? Yes, absolutely. But the problem is he doesn't have a lot of food drive, so that, that's going to be difficult. And there's no reason to start out right away day one. We have five weeks. I don't need to fix his walk right this moment. We'll fix it over the next couple days, and we'll definitely film that for you because I know it's one of the number one questions we get asked is how you fix it. And um, what I'm trying to show you is just the lack of engagement here. He could care less could care less. Now, the other thing is he's supposedly unbelievably leash reactive towards other dogs. We actually have another Australian Shepherd coming and uh, between the two of them, the other one's supposed to be very aggressive and he is, I don't know if it's aggressive, it's just I was told it's leash reactive. So we haven't let him out with another dog yet. And then now that we're over here, let's, let's check it out and see how he does with uh, some sits and downs. 
First we'll check his name. Paris. 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 He definitely knows his name, but it's not really associated with, hey, come to me, get to me right now. Come into a beautiful uh, heel position or center position, which we, which we definitely like. Now let's check out Paris. Sit. And that's a nice sit. That's one of the best sits out of the box that we've seen. Down. Down. Come on, Bubba. I know he has no leash pressure. I don't even really want to simulate it because it's aversive to dogs that don't know it. But I'm lifting up and there's no sit there. This is supposed to be a down, but it ain't gonna happen. And I'm not gonna force him into it, that's not how we train. All right, so we brought out Chance. Some of you may remember Chance from earlier episodes. He's, what, about a year old now? He's born on Valentine's Day, so. All right, so anyways, he's, so we'll call it 11 months. And we brought him out just to see how, get a baseline of where uh, Paris is with other dogs. Because again, supposedly he's a little, little crazy with other dogs, so. Why don't you bring him out and go for a walk and we'll kind of trail behind you and see how he does. So going low is good. Sometimes, <laughs> you see that? That explosive mannerism. Typically when a dog's front end goes low, it's an invitation to play. But I'm gonna, I was about to say this is nice. It's not nice, you know what he's doing? It's going back to that herding instinct. He's going low, watching his prey, watching that sheep, firing off. Watch uh, videos of how these dogs herd sheep, it's incredible. And so, look at that. If he had a tail, which he doesn't, it'd be way up high. Very confident. See that mouth closed? Yeah, and Chance is, is about as chill of a dog as you can get, really. And he's friendly, very friendly dog. And see how he's like trying to get almost as big as he can? <laughs> I miss my and that's why we use a prong collar because you see the the silliness he wants to do oh now you want to be my friend and that's why people say you can't correct your dog your dog will hate you I just corrected him as hard as I could on this uh, flat collar and next thing he wants to do he won't be my buddy that's why we talk about having the right tool on the dog for moments like that this is not the tool to give that correction again we're getting to know the dog and you saw, you saw, you could, you, I couldn't peek it from my angle. She was telling me that lip was coming up. And uh, absolutely unacceptable behavior. There is absolutely, that's like a, if I had a gun on me going like, you see my, I got a gun. Who does that, man? Don't flash your gun at me. So, not cool. Not cool. And we're going to fix all that. Because that's, it's no good. And this is the nonsense they're talking about. He probably goes into the dog park, muscles up to whatever dog, and then fires off to let them know. I own this place. So, again, don't let the breed fool you. Don't let the size fool you or the pretty eyes. You know, <laughs> he's still a tough little cookie right here. Not the most dominant dog I've ever seen, just pretty dominant considering. So, interesting, interesting. Right now, my daughter cannot, my three-year-old, nor my five-year-old, they cannot walk her, uh, this one on the leash because of that explosive uh, action that he does a lot. I mean, he'll be just kind of pulling generally, or the line's fairly slack, he's out front. And then he sees something once and pulls really, really hard. Um, it, it's enough to take my three or five year old and make him do a, what do they call that? Concrete skiing on their face. We're not gonna have that. When we're done though, we'll be walking him uh, on and off leash, my three and five year old, anywhere, wherever you like. So, I guess that's enough. We've seen uh, some of the issues he has. Uh, <laughs> Come here, you. We'll close out this video. What's up, Bubba? We'll fix the jumping too. It's not the end of the world. We'll let him do it right now. Says we close out this video. So he's a nice looking dog, that's for sure, and he needs a little bit of help. So we're here to help him. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more adventures in training, and we'll see some more of Paris. We've got a few uh, five weeks left with him, and uh, it's going to be perfect when we're done. See you on the next one.